the iPhone. Next question is from uh, I, you know I don't I, he's asked questions before and I'm always afraid I'm going to say his name L A S S E Olson so I'm thinking he's Norwegian maybe L- anyway so we'll yeah. s- from from Mr Olson uh, how can you check how much money you have spent in total on apps without adding the receipt <sighs> you got to add the receipts I tried to do yeah. this a couple of weeks ago um, you can look at your your history in the, just fire up iTunes go to your you know your uh, your user Click page. Click on your name and goes to your account. Yeah. See the history of everything you've. There's a purchase history button. Yeah, you can you can go through that, and I have to do that every once in a while for for work. So, and you know I still you know calculator, pencil. Sorry. <laughs> so another one from Mr. Olson was the best app on iPhone for Excel work. Um, I haven't actually used this. I don't do a lot of Excel stuff, but uh, Documents to Go. Um, a lot of people really seem to love that app. Um, it's got some really good ratings. Uh, you can do the copy and pasting. You can do all the stuff. Um, it works with, uh, you know, all your your, your funny little uh, Word and, and Excel files. So I would check that out. It's it's a uh, it's ten bucks, and I mean, if you've already paid for the uh, Microsoft Office suite, ten bucks really shouldn't be anything. So there you go. Check that out. 